you're still loose, your neck is loose. When you're, yeah, uh, both neck and the shoulder. Raymond, same thing. You're not rigid anymore. No, still, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel the difference? You have to lock it to feel the qua is on the shoulder. It's one piece. You have to do this for a long time to understand what transmission of energy is. And then you can go with the feeling. You have to do it enough to, for your body to establish a benchmark, a benchmark feeling. Because this kind of move, because from the quad to the shoulder, the distance is very long. And uh, if you are not rigid, the power dissipates. It has to translate from the quad to the shoulder e eventually. And the shoulder and the quad distance is one piece of rigid board. So any place on that board can transmit. If it has any looseness, it cannot transmit. So this is from the quad here. So from the quad to the shoulder here. If, can you see it's totally one piece? Because it's one piece, when the elbow is here, that movement of that piece, the elbow touching here, can actually propel to your hand. If during this here, if you ha have any, this won't move, this is one piece. But your body, if it has one little bit of this and here not synchronized, that little bit here, it's all lost. It has to be totally, can you see? You, you have to tighten it so that, so this is one piece. If you have anything like this here, it's all lost. Look at my, my arm from the elbow to the finger. So at the beginning, you, you do these kind of moves, which by definition is 100% absorbed. So if your opponent touches you, it's all absorbed into open space. It's not even absorbed into your arm. Absorbs into open space, so you have nothing left. And now, can you see? It's absorbed into this line. And then later on, all you need is when people touch you, you only tighten here and here. That's, that's, so you watch my arm, okay? Imagine something hitting it, you only go, <coughs> that's it. So this is ultimate speed. So when you are doing push hands, later on, it's a matter of you are loose like this here. When you find your opponent's energy and the timing, all of that, you just go like this. That's all. But at the beginning, you have to have a door hinge like this. That hinges like this. You can't do this and do this at the same time. You cannot have this. So even like, like this, you cannot have this because you can't control that yet. You can only have a very straight move here. And you see this here? So this here is locked to here. And this move has to go here. It's one move. So Damien, you are doing this. It's lost. And it's lost. This has to go directly here with a dot in the middle. So this move here goes here. Can you see? You guys are not showing that. You are showing almost, uh, the only mean is almost like that, but there's not that you are not rigid enough. You are doing it like this. So when it's rigid, all the muscles are very tight. It's one piece. Can you see like a robot? When it's like this here, whatever I do here is immediately here because this is very rigid. Yours is like a rope. Whatever you do, it's absorbed in it. A rope will absorb. Look at my two shoulders. When you leaned backward, you are like this. You, you don't know you're like that. It has to be the one piece. Can you see? It's totally one piece. And when you do it, you must lose balance. If you don't lose balance, it means you made little movements to adjust. It, this move here, and it's actually, the this is the shape. The intention is to push the quad forward. The problem is, when you push the quad forward, your body collapses. You're moving, you're doing all sorts of moves. It's one piece, totally rigid, and can you see? When you do this in order to balance it, the muscle on top of your thigh here will burn, it will hurt like it's on fire. The rigidity training here is part of the, uh, uh, the puzzle of uh, uh, the word B-O. Yeah. In order to do, so the crucial Taiji movie is called the Four Ounces Overcoming 
1,000 pounds. The overcoming uh, in Chinese is actually bo. It means when it's totally balanced in here, the smallest move here is felt there. The reason is because this thing here delivers power 100%. It does not absorb. If this thing is slightly soft, when you do this here, it won't be felt here. It gets absorbed in the middle here. So now do you understand this, this concept? So of course, our body at times must also be able to bend and stretch and do all sorts of things. But right now, we are talking about a specific technique and a concept that when this is set up, this is point A, this is point uh, whatever, this is point B. And uh, if the structure is perfect, if you put one ounce of power here, it's felt as exactly one ounce on the other end. But in reality, all we need at this level is that your movement must deliver your movement in the shape of either power or distance or speed or accuracy or whatever. It has to be one on one. Once you are able to train to deliver movement uh, one on one, that's your starting point. Without it, there is no starting point. Your training is useless. So now do you understand that one-on-one -on -one is your baseline? Without that baseline, there is no training. So the test is somebody putting a, a hand behind your, your head. And then you make your neck totally rigid and then bend your quad to see whether you can push up. Yeah, if it's not rigid, you can't push up. When you are totally rigid, the power has to be 100% on the quad. If you're not rigid, you have to lose, use local muscles on your neck, on your lower, uh, on your uh, uh, back, and then the whole thing is changed. My quad is here. The top, from a quad to the top of my head is totally one line. You bent over like this. Can you see you lost everything in this here? You didn't bend over. The bending over like, like this here, you already are losing balance. You have to have total control over the Dantian to actually do this bending over. It's very difficult. And then now, when you do this here, everything goes back. It's totally rigid in here. If you have any softness, it's lost. I'm using a pivot here. It won't, it won't stay there. If my pivot is here, can you see it's normal? If I put a pivot here, watch me, okay? It has to be like this. This end cannot stay here. You know how much counter power you have to produce, let's say, on this one inch here, in order for it to be balanced? So it has to be, you see, because even this weight here, I can't handle it. It's, it's like this here, right? And now I have to put so much power here for it to come up even. You have to use two hands. So that actually is the power of Dantian. Your Dantian has to be that strong to hold your head in space in the most inefficient lever. So the qua has to push this way. But as soon as we start, the qua starts to push this way. And you see, it starts to go, go up along here. It does not go forward anymore. And Damien was right, because you guys did not see. When the qua continues to go here, and the body goes up, you immediately want to fall down. Because your body never felt that before. Your muscles cannot adjust fast enough. And by the time you don't fall down anymore, it means you created so much stretch on your muscles and your skin. And that stretch has never been done to your body before. The first time you can't take it. And but again, by the, with a little bit of a training, you realize it becomes normal again. When it becomes normal, if you analyze this theoretically, you realize that your skin, muscles, and everything in your body actually go, they go through huge stretches and your body is very flexible it's very pliable it's very adaptable to a lot of situations it's only the first time your body does not know what to do it reacts uh, against it 